and welcome to the Google Analytics tutorial series. I'm Matt Landers, and in this tutorial, we're going to create an audience. Now, an audience is just a way for us to group our users based on different conditions that they meet. For instance, in our example, we could have an audience of people who have signed up for our newsletter and an audience of people who have not signed up for our newsletter. And then we can do different things with that audience. We can analyze them. We can see what are people who are signing up for our newsletter doing differently than the people who aren't. Are they seeing a particular blog post? Are they coming in from a particular social campaign? Is there an ad that they saw? What makes them sign up versus the people who don't? Now, another thing that we can do is we can advertise to the people who have not signed up yet. So we can spend money on Google ads to try to get those people to convert and sign up for our newsletter. Now, we can build audiences based on all different types of conditions and we can mix and match as well. So we can have people who signed up for the newsletter and also visited a particular page on the blog or who purchased something on our site. And we can have different time limits for that too. So people can go in and out of audiences. So somebody who is in an audience today may not be in it tomorrow, depending on how we create that window on what keeps people in the audience or not. For instance, we may say we want to have an audience of people who have visited a particular product page over the last seven days, because we know that there's a seven day window to get them to convert and purchase that product. So we don't really want to waste their ad dollars on people who have been there you know, 30 days ago, 100 days ago, that probably already fulfilled their need for whatever that product was serving. All right, that's the basics of an audience. Now let's go in and actually create the audience in our analytics account. All right, we're back on the homepage of our analytics account. And what we want to do is we want to create an audience of people who have signed up for our newsletter. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go down to the left and click on admin. Then we'll go to audiences and we'll see that we have two audiences already here. We have our all users and our purchasers. Now these are already created for us. All users are just anyone who sent an event to us. So anybody who's viewed a page or done any other action. And then purchases are people who have sent the purchase event. We haven't done that, but this is already created for us. So that audience gets populated if we ever implement the purchase event. All right, let's go ahead and create a new audience. And let's check out some of the options here. In our general tab down under suggested audiences, you'll see that we have some things that we could just choose right out of the box, like recently active users, uh, seven day lapsed purchasers, a lot of different options here. And we can go to templates and see even more. So like what technology have they used? Have they used mobile devices or desktop or whatnot? And then we have predictive. These are ones that have ran through our machine learning models and ones that we have predict that will do something if they take some action. So people who are likely to make a purchase in the next seven days, people who are likely to churn. Uh, and I'm sure that this will get populated with more audiences over time that we try to set up for you. But in this demo, we are going to actually create a custom audience. And what we want to do is we want to include users that have sent us the newsletter signup event. So right now you'll see in the summary that there's no one in this audience. It's completely empty because we haven't provided a condition yet. And we can add inclusion uh, conditions or exclusion conditions. And it must meet all of them. So let's see. We can go and say, I want to find people who have signed up for our newsletter. And that's it. And we'll see now we have 10 people in our audience. Now we could look at this a different way. We could say, let's find people who have not signed up for our newsletter. So we could use an exclusion. And we'll see that there are 12 people in our audience. See, there's 10 that have signed up, 22 total, and 12 left over. All right, let's go back and change it back the way we had it to people who have signed up. And let's look at one more thing. We have our membership duration. So this means people that have signed up for our newsletter in the last 30 days. Uh, we really want to put everyone who signed up, and the maximum that we can do is the last 18 months. So let's go ahead and set that to maximum, which is 540 days. And now we could save this audience and we'll name it to newsletter and we will save that. So now we have our new audience, but let's keep in mind that this audience is not populated for the next 24 to 48 hours. That doesn't mean that you won't get anything in it once it is populated. It will pull in people who meet those conditions over the last 30 days. So it'll look back 30 days, find anyone who's fired that newsletter signup event and they will be added to the audience, but it does still take 24 to 48 hours for that to populate. And then anytime somebody signs up from then on, they'll be added to that audience. All right, then we can use that audience once it's populated 
to do filters on reports, add different dimensions. And we can also export this audience to Google Ads and bid on it as well. So we could send that over to ads and create an ad campaign where we exclude this audience. So we would be targeting people who have not signed up for the newsletter and try to get them to sign up for the newsletter. Or we could target people who have signed up for the newsletter and say, hey, if they sign up for the newsletter, they're likely to purchase something. So maybe we try to market to them and get them to buy something now that they've signed up for the newsletter. A lot of options we can do here, which we're going to explore in future tutorials. But hopefully this gives you a really foundational understanding of what audiences are, how to create them, and then how to use them, which we will explore that more in future tutorials. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and subscribe to the playlist as well. And if you have any feedback for us, leave us a comment and join our Discord server. Uh, if you have other videos you'd like us to make, ask us in Discord, and we will try to do that if there's enough demand for it. All right, thanks for joining. Uh, we look forward to seeing how you use this content in your own campaigns. And until then, happy measuring.